Hey, it's question and answer time. Somebody got a question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you do when there's a commotion in the audience and, and you don't really know what's happening or, or what's going on and how do, how do you handle that? Wow, when something's going on in the audience and, and you can't figure it's not apparent what it is, you know, and then it's affecting your show, right? You know, you just know that the show's not, you know, congruent, moving along well and stuff. Here's my answer. Ask the audience. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, you know, simply, you know, go, hey, what the hell's going on? <laughs> that's what I always did. A lot of people think, oh, I'm up here, and, you know, I've got to do my show, and that's all I can do, and something's going on in the audience. Just be honest. Kind of go, I don't know what's going on here. What's going on? Tell me, tell me, you know? And I find, I always found the audience would talk back to you and tell you. Uh, one time, uh, well, it was it uh, again? You guys know I, I was the opening act for the Male Strippers of Chippendales for like four years. Then I played, yeah, played an audience of like 350 hormonal women, you know, all anxious about this turning the turning the uh, uh, turning it around so that they're the one stripping the man and stuff. And and I was the opening act, and so essentially I was in the way. <laughs> then I convinced them I was their foreplay. Okay, so and so after I learned how to play that crowd, I could I, 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 once I get them, I could whip that audience into a frenzy in that 15 minutes. I mean, I could just really warm up the crowd. I got really good at it uh, after like a year, I guess, is what it was. And the rest of the time, it was easy. One time I came out and I was used to doing really shows, good, really hot time. And yeah, they introduced me, come out and kind of hey, real low energy. So I did my first joke that usually goes well. Second show, uh, uh, third joke. Uh, uh, uh. I just look around and look at it's no energy, and I just did that. I went, uh, pardon me, what's going on? Nobody's laughing. Nobody seems to be in a good mood. What's happening? Someone, what girl, raises her hand <laughs> like she's in class. I went, yes, and she goes, before you came out, there was this vicious, vicious girl fight. <laughs> and I went, really? Yes, yeah. Somebody else went, yeah. They said, the girl kept hitting the one in the nose, and there was blood all over everything, and he tore her top off, and the other girl pulled her hair out, and I looked over there, and there was a tuft of hair <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> right? And then somebody else went, oh, it was, and then I started going, this must have been traumatic. And they're going, oh, it was, and they're all talking to me now. <laughs> now, for the next three minutes, I do a therapy session. <laughs> you know, oh really? You know, what else went on? You know, they were yelling, they were scratching each other's faces, then the bouncers came out, held the women, and the women hit the bouncers and you know, kicked them and did all this stuff and, and, and you know, carried them out and wiped up some of the blood. Right? And at that particular point it dawned on me when that happened and they they carried out those women and shut the door and cleaned up the blood, the MC said, Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Dean! So I come out to this. <laughs> and, I, so I, and that's what I did. I just went, really? And I let them tell me about their feelings and how awful it was. And they were all going, yeah, and agreeing with each other. Oh, 350 women all going, yeah, it was terrible. Person, the, the energy's coming up because they get to express it instead of feeling bad and express it instead of feeling bad. And I said, were those girls fighting over one of the dancers? And a bunch of them went, yeah. And I went, wow, what a couple of dumb bitches they are. <laughs> Place came apart. Just the laugh went on for 30, 40 seconds, and I'm, you know, am I right? Am I, you know, I just let them laugh. And then I, well, well, let me try to help you feel better tonight. You know, here, I'd like to talk about this. And then I went into part of my show. And I had to take the first, first third of my show and throw it out. I had to come back in two-thirds of the way in, do the last three sections of the come back in. Let me do, let me, let me make you feel better, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. So then after the show, I went to the MC and I said, pardon me. <laughs> you know, I, I don't, I don't, warn me. Just send somebody back out there and said there was just a girl fight. Because I would have walked out there going, <laughs> I would have come out there being real goofy about it and stuff and would have turned it around right away if I'd known. 
okay, uh, I would have done something, and I said, look, I don't mind handling it. I was a street performer. I've done nightclubs for years. I handle it like I did. I don't mind handling it. Just tell me. <laughs> you have to tell me. Because if they, they, the club people don't tell you, we come back to the point, you have to ask the audience. And just ask them. Admit, you don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't understand. But then once you understand, now you have a chance of solving it. But the first thing to do is go out there and just say, hey, help me out. What's going on?